title music is boppin', so let's go ahead and get started. This is Nugget, the famous Katmando. But what does Nugget look like? That's up to you. So, okay, the face. What does Nugget the cat look like? I kind of like the idea of Nugget being kind of like a tortoise shell. You know, the sort of orangish gray cats. <gasps> oh, Nugget, you're looking amazing. <laughs> Nugget the Chonkster. Do we want Chonkster, Slim, or Bean? Ooh. Oh, we can color each leg individually, my goodness. You know, I think this looks like a Nugget. Let's go, buddy! We're at Fort Pawprint. Nugget! Oh, Nugget! There you are! What's going on, sausage? Because this waiter was about to nap. <laughs> What's going on, sausage? Sergeant Fluffles wants to see the both of us right away! <gasps> I'm so excited! It's been forever since we've been asked to do anything! Oh boy, work. I can't tell if that's sarcastic or not. What do you think it could be? Could be the cat- could the cat queen be calling us back to cat kingdom? That'd be a treat. This better not be something boring like finding his beret again. <laughs> I hope it's not dangerous. You're right! Maybe dogs are involved. Well anyway, he should be at his usual spot. Let's go! Nap time. Oh, you're still here. Okay. It's nap till nighttime, nap till morning. Now let's keep going. Oh, so there's a nighttime and a daytime. Reginald dr Reginald's dream diary. I don't think I should be reading this, but let's go ahead. Fish day. I was a moose. Don't know what a moose is, but I know I was one. Intrigued. Further research required. S'mores day. Ate so much I dreamt of enormous amounts of fur. Do recommend. <laughs> hey, hey, Nug. What if we were like, we're asleep right now? Right now. And all this was a dream. Whoa. Like, dude, how would you even know, right? Maybe. Maybe my whole life is a dream, and I'm actually an accountant somewhere. Just sleeping away my worries, all comfy in a warm bed. Oh man, no, hold on. What if that life is a dream too, and I'm actually a soldier, dreaming I'm an accountant, dreaming I'm a soldier? Whoa. Reginald, man, you're sure something. Who are you? Can to help you, Privet? Privet? I, I, excuse the horrendous accents. How's the Cat Kingdom doing? I suppose the news does not make it to the foot often. The Cat Kingdom is enjoying an unparalleled bell epic uh. <laughs> String, poisson, and naps for all. Liberty, egality, felinity. Truly, yours are blessed by the reign of her highness, Queen Claudia. Of course, her name's Claudia. <laughs> Uh, we are only like five minutes into this game and we have so many puns. <gasps> Look at all those fish! Ooh. So, can we play with these? Oh, they're like training dummies. <laughs> oh, hello, Captain Nugget. Can I help you? Uh, Marble, you're not a fighter. Why are you here again? I'm to watch over and study the Holy Lake. Wow, I want to know more. I'm so happy to hear it! The scriptures say that the lake is a gateway to the next world. Only by understanding the lake can we entice the gods to return. The fish here sometimes bring up trinkets, tokens of the gods' favor. Well, I should return to studying the holy lake, but I'll save the next trinket for you. Fort Paw Print orders. You brave Katmandos are hereby entrusted to a cause most paramount to the safety and security of the cat kingdom we all love. For my honor and glory, yours faithfully, Queen Claudia, Cat Queen. It's Sergeant Fluffles. Oh, Captain Nugget and Private Sausage. Just the two cats I was looking for. Were you looking hard? I was right over there. <laughs> Nugget, show some respect. The Sergeant is a decorated hero. Ah, uh, yes, it seems I'm in a bit of a pickle, chaps. Well, what is it? I need to know. Well, now, I must say this is embarrassing, but it seems I've misplaced my teapot. As I recall, the last time I saw the pot was yesterday. Have you asked around camp, Sergeant? I dare say that would be a good idea. You could start with Coriander and... Hmm, Sergeant, if anything happened to my sister... <gasps> Coriander's our sister! Ho ho ho, not to worry, Captain, I'm sure she's fine. We haven't seen a hint of dogs for weeks, after all. 
Then it's settled. You two will bravely search for my prized teapot, and I suppose your sister as well, Nugget. Smashing! What's so special about the teapot? What's so special about the teapot, they ask? My word! It's sentimental! Not worried it'll get brutally smashed by dogs. Oh my god, the puns! Then why bring it to a military outpost? Why, sentiment! I had this teapot with me during the War of the Founding, when we claimed the neighborhood and established the Cat Kingdom. There I was, the dog warlord Alpha chomping at my whiskers, teapot in one claw, claws out in the other. Between sips of delicious herbal tea, I slashed casually at his face like it was the easiest thing in the world! Wait, are you saying you drank it directly from the pot? Of course, dear Nugget! Why bother with an intermediary vessel when one can simply drink direct from the source? That's what I always say. That's a hardly specific thing to always say! <laughs> You'd be surprised how often one can say something specific when one tries. Oh, I can moonwalk! Hell yeah! Tutorial. Let's learn how to fight. Encounter scratching posts. <gasps> you got three basic attacks at your disposal. Bite, scratch, and pounce. Each interact with different enemy types differently. Well, we're fighting scratching posts, huh? So let's try scratch. Yeah. Now hit, an, now hit an enemy to attack them. An arrow will cycle between each enemy you're able to hit, but you can choose your target at any time. We want this one. Yeah. Mm. Okay, you saw the red bar decrease. That's the enemy's health. But the yellow bar is their exposure bar. If you fill that yellow bar all the way up, that enemy becomes exposed. That puts you at a huge advantage. Okay. Mmm. An exposed enemy will have that flashing icon above them. When they're exposed, every attack will hit for critical damage. This is where you'll find your special abilities. Wearing equipment will give you access to different ability loadouts. So experiment to find what works best for you. This hits all enemies. Ooh. Yeah! Look at that! Items can heal, apply status ailments, or damage enemies. You'll find them around the world as combat loot. Let's try throwing a rock. Okay. That didn't do a lot. We ran away from the scratching posts. They're just too powerful. Hello, hello! Terribly sorry, my friend, but my shop's not open yet. Check back later, friend. I'll have so much for you to purchase. Purchase? Yes, friend, purchase! You see, what do we find cats all value most? I'll tell you. Shiny things! Think about it, friend. Shinies are nice, but they don't do anything, do they? So we can use them as currency. Here's how it works. You brave cats go out there into the woods and you find all manner of things. You'll find shinies, friend. Then bring those shinies to me and I'll exchange them for goods. I can't help but have a feeling this is gonna cause some big cons. We're laying down the foundation of trade, friend. Commerce, friend. One day, cat kind will look back upon our work and marvel at how much it enables. It sure, it does enable. Okay, so we can shop once we've gotten the teapot back. Let's, uh, let's get into the woods. The Whisker Woods. Oh, whoa, is that a dog? Oh! Um. Okay, so. We've got some kind of bird and some kind of dog, I think. Let's. I imagine Pounce is probably pretty good. Let's, let's try that. Whoa! Yeah, okay, now it's exposed. Toothy nip. Ow! Okay, okay. Yeah, the pounce is definitely the best against the bird. I want to take it down first because it's level two. It could potentially do a lot of damage, right? Yeah, look at that. It can hit both of us. We have to take it down right now. Precision strike body smash. Yeah, let's take care of that bird. Whoa! Barking orders. Well, I guess we were right about there being a dog out here, though. I don't know what that, like, effect is, though. Yikes! That's quite a lot. Old fish? It's all but edible heals 25 HP. Okay. Oh, that, that's really not a lot. Yikes! Let's, let's use in slashing. Yeah! Oh, we got 25 shinies. That's a lot of shinies. Another dog. Oh, there's a cat here! Coriander! We found you! And <laughs> just in time! Uh, what's wrong? Are you in danger? I was out here gathering my herbs to brew some tea, of course! Delicious! When, my gosh, dogs! And that's not all. Not Pomeranians. No, no. Labs. <gasps> How many were there? 
saw two dogs, but they spoke of others by the gods. Where are they? Let me at them! Further in, eastwards. I'm not sure how far. Dogs fear not the deep. May have crossed the creek. No time to waste! Let's go! Again, scamps went east. Shouldn't be far. Get them, sibling dearest! I'll guard the rear! By which I mean I'm staying here. More herbs needed due to the teeth theft catastrophe. Hedging my bets on your success. Good luck! Uh, thank you, Coriander. Okay, so these are Pomeranians. Uh... Oh, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting. A few moments later. <gasps> we leveled up! Okay, we got back up to full health. But we do have the dogs to fight. Let's go ahead and take them. I bet we can at full health here. Oh, wait, what's this? It's an apple hat. It may not look like it, but this was the beginning of a tyrannical rampage. It's them! The Labradors! Cat, 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 cat! Fabrador! <laughs> My companion's name is Labradolt, but don't worry about him. Worry about me. I'm Fabrador. And I'd like to know what you cats are doing here. <laughs> lost cats! This is our territory, dog. You should leave. We're not lost. You're lost. Our territory. You two wish to take on I, the famous Fabrador and Lackey. Well, far be it from me to deny you the opportunity to be utterly humiliated by your superior. Yeah, and I'll eat ya! <laughs> Labradolt! For the last time, my gallant attempts at intimidation are actively harmed by your complete incompetence! As I've told you before, just keep quiet! Sounds like you can't keep your lackey in check. Hand over that teapot. Tell us what you're really doing here and maybe we'll let you go. We're not making any cowardly deals with cats. We're proud dogs. Proud. Ow. Ow. All right, let's go. We're taking him on. Oh, jeez, he goes first. Razor scarf. I don't know what this means, but it can't be good. Looks like bite's particularly effective on these guys. So, okay, let's take on Labradolt first. Not Labradolt. Not the whoa, exposed. Yeah, bleeding. Okay, so that's like poison. Do we have what the lemon wedge do? You? Oh, it's a revive. We have four of them. We must go down quite a bit. Okay, from what I know from Pokemon, howling is never good. Oh, wait, okay, we do have different attacks. We got the warm meow and the tactical meow. Boost all ally strength for a while. Warm meow! Let's go with body smash on you. Yeah! Oh, no longer exposed. That's fine. We're just gonna take out Fabrador as fast as possible. Look at us go! Ow. Why do they keep targeting poor Nugget? Let's use a tasty fish. Yeah! I'm starting to think that Sausage is probably better at support, because when I hit something, it seems to be a lot stronger. Let's body smash. Come on. Smack! Meow. Bite you. Let's take you down. Come on, Fabrador. No! We need to defeat Fabrador right now! <laughs> Give paw. What the heck does that even do? Well, luckily Fabrador is down. So now we can take out you. One eternity later. There we go. We figured it out. We level up. Eat it, dogs. That felt good, Nugget. Let's do it again. That depends. Are they willing to talk? They've been watching. We're gonna invade the lake, lol. No, no, not invade. He meant to say in wade. We're gonna wade in the la- Ah, fuck, you're not buying it. Well, I shan't say anymore! Labradolt, away! Ow, my eyes! What was that? Well, we had the precious teapot, but those dogs have access to some serious power. We better check Coriander and get back to camp. Let's switch where, where this hat goes. We're gonna put our beret back on. Uh, Sausage gets the apple hat. So let's go check in on Coriander. We did it, Coriander! Piece of fish, 10 out of 10 would do again! Don't worry for a second that Big Sib would solve the problem. Have access to verbs now, unrelated. Won't have to return the woods for some time. Win all around. 
Except now we have a dog problem. Treacherous scoundrels. All right, sibling nugs. You better head back to camp. What about you? Me? Must gather my things. We'll take time. Tea will go cold if Nug waits. Sergeant forced to drink some standard beverage. Collapse of order. Failure of mission. No, no. You must go now. We'll be fine. I'll trust her. She'll be okay. And return the teapot. Yes. What ho, soldiers? Is the task complete? Uh, one teapot returned. Safe and sound. Anyway, there are dogs! Oh my, you mean more than just those blasted Pomeranians? Probably nothing to worry about. They're going to invade the fort. Oh no, we'll talk in the morning. Why not take a nap? You must be quite tired. If Fort Popprint falls, the Cat Kingdom may be next. The Cat Kingdom itself, youngster? Not to worry. With Sergeant Fluffles on the case, the kingdom is as secure as a button. Um, okay. Now off with you. So let's go ahead and take a nap. Nap time, nap time. Whoa, wake up, Nugget! Uh, five more minutes. No more minutes! There's a big problem! Is everyone okay? I think so, but I heard some strange noises last night. So did you investigate them? No, not at all! Listen, I'm all tough when I'm part of a team, but alone, I could barely swat a mouse. Once, I found myself surrounded by butterflies, and I panicked! Spun around in a circle so fast that I fell into the lake! The lake was a good 50 meters away! Okay, but why didn't you watch from a safe spot? I don't know, why'd you sleep through it? So anyway, I didn't get a great look, but I did hear a couple of squeeze I'd recognize anywhere. Marple, and Envoy Emily, Emil, Emily, Emily? She's here on official business, official cat queen business. We should be on our best behavior. You're right, must make a good impression. Now we should get going, let's find Marble and Emil. Uh, isn't that you? Salute! What can I help you with? Envoy Emil, my partner Nugget and I are investigating strange goings on that going on last night. We found myself awoken by a strange crackling sounds. Pardon, Captain Nugget. May I just believe two sister was taken by less dogs. <laughs> Coriander was catnapped? What happened next? Where did they go? They left. It sounded like um, personal asked what they wanted. My genius past comprehend why. Bon, bon cher? Mon petit chou? Ugh, I suck at that. Alright. Shop! Let's see, what can we buy? Firecracker. The does not disarm your enemy's defenses, instantly exposes them. <laughs> oh, a catnip. I can't believe it. It's a drug dealer. Uh. Okay. I may end up needing to buy some healing items. We'll see. Yeep! Oh, Captain Nugget, it's you. Excuse me. You're probably here to ask about what I saw last night. So what do you need to know? Uh, what did you see last night? Well, I was at the lakeside as usual, studying the holy lake. Suddenly, I heard noises from the fourth gate. <laughs> yes, just like that. And, and, there was a big one. How big? So big! Think about this dog, he, he controls lightning. Oh, like the stuff in the sky? Yes, but it came out of him. The other dogs called him Bark Plug. <laughs> it's all pretty crazy, huh, Nugget? Especially that he'd stop right here. Not weird and inconvenient at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's very inconvenient. Very well, since I trust you, Captain Nugget, I'll be honest. I was so frightened I skittered behind some rocks and closed my eyes so tight I knocked myself out. Mmm. <laughs> Well, I suppose we should report to Sergeant Fluffles and figure out what to do next. Have you heard the news, Captain Nugget? An electric dog stole coriander! That's right! My morning tea is nowhere to be found! Why, without uh, having a soothing cup of woodland mixed tea, I simply won't be able to start my day! Well then, it's time you two venture deeper into the Whisker Woods to defeat those dogs. Save your sister, and most importantly, Get my tea sorted. Deeper, but the bridge is out. How do we get across? Not to worry, I've had Shifty Gary working on that mystery, and I have a feeling he may have it all figured out just in time. Uh, so we should go talk to him, huh? Off you go then. You've quite a day ahead of you. Come on, Nugget. Coriander's depending on us. Moonwalking again. Woohoo! Sergeant Fluffles has sent us an official business to seek your help. Oh, really, huh? Well, if our steam commander wills it, what official business might that be? 
We need to cross the river to rescue a cat in danger. It's too wet to do it without your help. I hate to be distracted from my work, but it's for the sake of whoever it is very well. Some time ago, annoying dogs knocked all my bridges down. So all you'll have to do is uh, find them and put them back up. Oh man, how are we going to do that? The little sh the little schlubs knocked them all down and hit them throughout the woods. I found one of them, here. Thanks, this will be a big help. Oh, once you're over the first river, you should know that I saw a real suspicious dog to the south. Maybe if you interrogate him, you'll get some answers. Okay, I want to go to the bridge, because we have a plank now. How much do we actually need? Can we just get across this? Yeah! Woohoo, we got some planks. Whiskerwood Central. Okay, so there's a dog to the south here. Um, ooh, there's a lemon. Well, I wanted to- oh, okay, it's all three of them. Crap. Uh, I was hoping it wouldn't be. Uh, so, let's pounce on you. And you can do a wool meow! Yes! Meow! And... Be done. Wait, it did damage! How did it fail? Whoa, that dog is strong! Okay, so I think I'm gonna do in slash and uh, deal some damage and get this bird out of the way, if nothing else. Come on. Yeah, okay, the dog's out of the way. And we can pounce on you and that should be it. Sick. Perfect. There's a Hello Kitty hat. We need the Hello Kitty hat. Yes. So there should be a dog that we can get information out of though. Fetch his hideout. It's you. Yikes! A dog! Let's beat it up! Whoa well, there, cats. How about we have a little conversation before we we'll get to the violence? I ain't got no intention of fighting you good folks. So what are you doing here? You're a dog! Oh, a good boy! He's definitely a good boy. Just look at him! What's a good boy? You don't know those regular dogs out there looking to take what you they can and to heckle anyone else? Very familiar with them, yes. Well, those good boys, we ain't like that. We remember the teachings of the gods, and we seek to abide by their ancient code. Okay, so the gods are humans, right? Is this in a world where humans fall disappeared? <laughs> what is this code? I'm still trying to figure out if I want to fight. So my simple as heart, endeavor to be a good boy in all that you do. Protect your companions. Act with patience. Don't chew things too much. Why follow these rules? Is it, uh, and they're more like you? Yes, sir. We were a small group back at the start, but our ranks have grown. Sure as shooting, they have grown. But I've been sent out here to these woods to follow up on a deserter, I'm afraid. He broke the ancient code, and as the good boys, we take responsibility for that kind of indiscretion. He's big. Dark fur, got a, da a dapper spike collar, started calling himself Bark Plug toward the end. That's our guy. He's catting up my sister. Y'all don't say. Sound like he'd been causing some mischief for you folks. I love to help you kindly cats out, but I ain't feeling right since my last run-in with the fella. But I'll tell you what, I've been keeping some serious notes on old Bark Plug. Now they all got scattered all through the woods and made my escape. But I reckon if you folks find him and get on back here, maybe there's some clue we can put together that'll give you all an advantage in the battle. How many notes are we talking? There's five notes. Come on back when you got them all. I'll be waiting. On it. Alright, so now we gotta find a bunch of pages. There's a lot of exploration in this game. <gasps> a donut hat? Equipment, chocolate donut. <gasps> Does that give me any? Bat and swat. Do some damage and lower their charm. I don't know what charm does, but I guess we'll find out. Now that I'm wearing a chocolate donut! Oh, there's a lot of stuff like laying around all everywhere. Oh, there's a lot of scorch marks around here. Bark plug's gotta be this way. Oh, there's a big old boulder! What are we gonna do, Nugget? Is there a way around it, maybe? Can we smash it? There's gotta be a way! I know! There's an area by the lake, northwest of the Whisker Woods, where there's a bunch of stuff there that God's left behind. Maybe something there we can use. Let's go! There are corgis! We need this! We need this! Oh, boy. Hmm. Mm. Here we go, here we go. This is all the information we needed. Eventually... Down, boy, down! There we go. Whew. We leveled up. Thank goodness. 
corgis, man. They don't hold back, man. But, I mean, the game lets you run around in a donut, so, I mean, I'll take it. Alright, let's get this hat. The red bow. Wink, 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 wink. We totally don't know what that is. That gives us lacerate. Chance of inflicting bleed upon one enemy. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Honestly, I wish we could just see what the equipment did without having to put it on. I feel like that would be much more convenient. We found a note! One of the five notes! Just arrived in what they call the Whisker Woods. I ain't seen this many cats since the good boys tried making contact with that group up in Neverwalk. Anywho, I did track Lil Pa to this here region, and I reckon he'll, he'll be giving those poor cats grief sooner or later. Hope I can make contact and bring him back to the farm before that happens. After all, I do got some mighty sensitive news for old Lopa, and the sooner he knows, the sooner my conscience can rest. Oh boy. That sounds like uh, we got some very sad news. So this is where I was before. Oh, wait, we, do, we have a map? Oh, cool. Uh, return to bed. Uh, we'll snap till nighttime. I want to see what it's like at night. We're moonwalking again, boys! We're moonwalking! Woohoo! Let's get the strawberry donut. Sausage gets the strawberry donut to go with our chocolate one. Devastating mockery. You're known throughout the land for your literally biting wit. Devastate your enemy with your words. Reduce all their stats and... And what? And what? I have to know! Whoa. Raccoons and an owl. Fight me! Fight me, Trash Panda! Fight me! Oh, the battle music's even different at night. Oh. Pounce looks pretty good on the raccoon. Yeah. Road killer. Oh. This music is badass. Yeah. I'm gonna pounce on you. Yeah. And then scratch at you. I could rock you out to this music for a long time. Regurgitation? Ew! Let's get you out of here. We're gonna pounce at you! Oh. Just keep biting it. We'll just keep biting it. There we go. What else is out there in the dark? Yeah, we cats have a good advantage being nocturnal. We can avoid the dogs this way. Ooh. Look, there's grass up here. Oh. Labyrinth of the Catacorn? We can build a bridge here, which luckily we found some planks. For as long as there have been cats, we have passed down the legend of the Catacorn. No one knows that the Catacorn truly existed, with isolated pockets of cats all sharing similar tales. Many feline scholars argue that it must have. Whether the Catacorn itself ever did exist, it did inspire a group of cats to follow its teachings, called the Order of the Catacorn. These cats fashioned their own horns and wore them as reminders of their vows. Cornelius Fudgeworthy. Okay. So, there's a cat unicorn in this universe. Because, I mean, there's gotta be. This game is weird. It's battle time! Let's go! Oh jeez, they're level 5. Despite my failures, 
I can say for certain that one of the Order of the Catacorn's horns rests in Whisker Woods. It is my fervent hope that whoever claims it uses its powers for good. If you are reading my notes, know that you inherit perhaps the final remnant of a noble order. Do not take this responsibility lightly. Go, in glitter and good cheer. Cornelius Fudgeworthy, last keeper of the Order of the Catacorn. Something happened to them. That's the horn. The catacorn horn. What's it do? Lacerating poke. High chance of von inflicting bleed upon one enemy or savage slash. Need something a little more powerful than a regular slash. <laughs> as much as I like the, uh, yeah, the laceration one, like, it was pretty high cost, so we're gonna take the catacorn horn, I think. Plus, look at Nugget now! Look at Nugget now! You little catacorn! Yes, you are! Yes, you are! You're so cute! I don't think we really need that many tips in the corner game. Can I turn those off? Oh! Flock of owls! Yikes. This one's gonna be difficult. Let's just get started on that. We'll expose you for what you really are! A jerk! These guys can make so many status effects. Like poisoned! Like, look at that. But now we can do the mugic lacerating poke! It missed. Okay, come on. And... Holy moly! Did, did you see how much that was? You can use it even if it would drop you to zero. Oh my god. This is too much power to put in my hands. Oh my goodness. Alright, you know what? We, we're gonna return to bed. Let's actually get back to day. This horn. This is good. This is really good. I'm sure that there's still more in those woods, but we can go back there later. Oh. Well, we're gonna have a battle when we're done. Oh! This is new. I don't know about you, but I don't fancy touching it. It looks pretty dangerous. But I've seen these panels up before on that post. I think it uses some magic to make it all work. But it only works during the day. Let's go take a nap at camp and come back later. <laughs> um, well, I guess I was on the right track. Whoops. 